I think it's a momentous day. It's a really key milestone for us on the Pickle Line project, part of the overall Invictus project. Uh, it's a combination of many months of hard work by the team who've been getting this bay ready for the civil demolition to start so that we can start the installation of the civils for the new Pickle Line. Fundamental asset that's required for us to have a sustainable business going forwards. Our current assets are at the end of their operational life and without this new pickling line, we won't be able to process steel for our customers, which means that the EAF investment itself will be limited to just hot roll product, which limits the market that we can go into. First of all, the demolition will be completed uh, starting at the far end of the bay and they work through the whole bay, removing the floor that we're currently standing on, cleaning out the ducting that's underneath us. All of this will be removed, ready for the new foundations to be installed before we can start installing the processing equipment. The entire process starts with, first of all, uh, conceptualizing the, uh, what is required. Now, once we start the engineering part, uh, we need to identify the uh, resource required, material required, the type of technology required, the methodologies that we are going to use, and what type of construction techniques could ease our construction work into the future. So all that goes into the engineering work. So we design the structures in such a way that uh, it becomes easier during the construction time and it re reduces the overall period. Now once the construction schedule starts, we need to make sure that everything comes just in time because it's millions of parts working together uh, that are to be brought together and none of them gets missed because even if one small piece missed, it, will, it can cause delays, which is not something that we want. A massive amount of enabling works has gone on to date, uh, hence to where we are now with demolition starting. We've got a lot of work ongoing with a lot of contractors coming from outside uh, of Tata Steel coming onto site. We want people to make good decisions whilst working on this site. We want them to follow and adhere to our, our rules, our TSUK rules. Uh, along with that, um, we ask everybody to sign just over to my left here, the commitment to safety as well. Um, so the first thing you see when it comes through the turnstiles is the commitment to safety as just a remind, reminder for everybody really that when they are working on this site there's a set of um, job method statements, risk assessment and their permit to work which has got to be a D or two um, and just to make good decisions whilst working on the site and I think as long as everybody looks out for each other and challenges each other professionally then I'm sure we'll get through with zero harm which we've all committed to as well. This is a momentous day. It really is a testament to a lot of work put in by the engineering team so that we're actually able to bring in the heavy demolition equipment and safely demolish the existing civil foundations that need to be changed to allow new foundations to be put in for the new line.